Oh, well, the question is, who are you? Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus responds, I am. And you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. You will see the Son of Man coming with the clouds of heaven. So which Son of Man is Jesus referring to? I can hear you. Daniel. Daniel. He's, coming, he's referring to the one in Daniel, the Son of Man who comes to the clouds of heaven. That's the one he's been talking about. Let's revisit Daniel and see what the Son of Man is about. Daniel is looking at his vision. He's having a vision. And he sees God, the Father, the Ancient of Days, being worshipped on a throne. So this is God, the Father, being worshipped on a throne, surrounded by angels. And then Daniel says something very interesting. He says, Behold, verse 13, chapter 7, Behold, I look in my night visions, and one like a son of man approached the Ancient of Days. So here's God the Father, the Ancient of Days, being worshipped by angels. One like a son of man came on the clouds of heaven. As only God and divine being comes, the Son of Man comes on the clouds of heaven. And to him, that Son of Man, is given glory, authority, and sovereign power. Okay, so whoever this Son of Man is, he looks like a Son of Man, according to Daniel. He's given glory, authority, and sovereign power. He's coming as a God into heaven. He's given glory, authority, and sovereign power in heaven. Then it says, people of every nation and language served him. Stop. Who is the one who receives service in heaven? God. Or you might ask, Nabil, what kind of service is this? Maybe it's some other kind of service. I don't know. Maybe there's, there's tables, restaurant tables in, in heaven. We're all going to get served, right? What is this service? This service, according to the Bible, over 130 times this word is used in the Septuagint in the Greek New Testament. It's the word latruo. Every single time this word service is used, it's used as a word due only to God. Do only to God. No human ever receives Latruo. Actually, one time a human does receive Latruo and God curses that. He says, essentially, that is due to me. You are cursed for having received Latruo. And yet here, the one who looks like a son of man, who has glory, authority, and sovereign power in heaven, came as God comes, is being served in heaven with the service due only to God by all people of every nation and language. And then it says his kingdom is one that will not pass away and his dominion will never be destroyed. Wait a minute. Stop. In the Old Testament, you've got God being worshipped in heaven and then you have one who looks like a son of man being worshipped in heaven with a service due only to God in his own kingdom. No one tell me that there's no foreshadow of the Trinity in the Old Testament. It actually starts in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, but it's clearly found here as well. And as if Jesus needed to make his point any clearer, he then says, you will see him sitting at the right hand of the power. That son of man will be sitting at the right hand of the power. Well, what is this? This is a reference to Psalm 110, verse 1. In Psalm 110, verse 1, it says, The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand, and I will make the enemies a footstool for your feet. No one in all of Second Temple Jewish history ever claimed the right to sit next to God on his throne. Not only did no one ever claim it for themselves, no one claimed it for anyone else. Because if you were to say that, then essentially what you're saying is that God has an heir. It's like the king sitting on his throne with his son, the prince, next to him. That's what it means to sit next to God in that context. That's why Moses was never shown sitting next to God. That's why Enoch was never shown sitting next to God or any of the archangels. They were all shown standing next to God. Sitting next to God would be blasphemy. That would mean that they are God. Yet Jesus claims not only to be the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, whose worship with the service due only to God, but also has the right to sit next to God on the throne. He's the heir to the throne of God.